we have the function y in the form of 25 minus 2x plus x squared equal uh, to the power 3. You can see this as the function g raised to the power n, where your gx is 2x minus, minus uh, hang on. So it's going to be 25, sorry. So 25 minus 2x plus x squared. And your n, for this case, the n, I'm going to put the note here, n is 3. What we need, we're going to need g prime or the derivative of the g, which is 0 minus 2 plus 2x, or just negative 2 plus 2x. We get everything we need for the general power rule. I'm going to refer to general power rule. And then that will give us the y prime in the form of the n quantity gx to the power n minus one multiplied by the g prime of the x. n is three for this case. The g is 25 minus two x plus x squared to the power three minus one, that is the power two, multiplied by the g prime, which is the quantity negative two plus two x. And here's your answer or your form for the y prime or the derivative of the y with respect to x. If you want to simplify more, you can do by factoring the two out. So this one, I can see this as negative one times two, and this is the two times x. So I factor the two out, it becomes two multiplied by negative one plus x. Then my other form of the uh, the derivative is going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, multiplied by the quantity 25 minus 2x plus x squared raised to the power second and multiply by uh, negative 1 plus x. Okay, so you can answer either this form or this form. I'm okay with either one.